What's up guys, Sal here. So we have been talking about the Galaxy S11 for quite a while now. We have a fair share of idea of the full specs and features the device is gonna come with. We also have an idea of how the device will end up looking like courtesy of CAD renders. But we haven't actually got a chance to see the device in its flesh, in real life images. But that's gonna change today because for the first time ever, the Galaxy S11 has been captured in images. The S11 will have a 108 megapixel camera, but the quality of this image is nowhere near 108 megapixel. In fact, it looks like someone took this image with a potato. Anyway, the phone is enclosed in an engineering case to protect its identity. It must be a Samsung engineer using it in a subway probably because that's where 99% of the leaks happen. He should be testing this device out in real life for the real life feedback. IC Universe says it's the Galaxy S11, but looking at the camera and the flash arrangement, it's clearly not the S11, but the Galaxy S11e. One thing you can notice is the huge camera protrusion, and that's with the case on. Earlier reports said the camera bump will add 1.1mm thickness to the phone, and considering the Galaxy S11 Plus will have way bigger camera rectangle, it's kinda worrying that it will not look good and there will be a considerable gap when you place the phone flat on a surface. In any case, since it's December and probably the Galaxy S11 will go into production at the end of this month, so we're gonna get tons of real life S11 leaks, so you can consider subscribing if you wanna keep updated. So the Galaxy S10 Lite and Note 10 Lite are going to be launched at the end of this month. We've talked about these two devices a lot recently, showcasing how these devices are going to look and what are the specifications these devices are going to come with. The Galaxy S10 Lite in many ways is better than the S10 itself and the Note 10 Lite is basically an updated Galaxy Note 9 which will look more like the Galaxy S11. That said, we know almost everything about these devices except the price. But that is changing today because a retailer in Europe has revealed the prices of these two models and they are affordable. The retailer says the Galaxy S10 Lite will be priced at 669 euros and the Note 10 Lite at 609 euros. For what these devices offer, these are really good prices. If I were to guess, based on the previous Samsung pricing, these should be the prices in the US dollars. First, these are retailer prices, not an official one, but they should give you a basic idea of what to expect in terms of pricing. Also, we have information about the battery capacity of the Galaxy Note 10 Lite and surprisingly, it's even bigger than the Galaxy Note 10 Plus itself. The Note 10 Plus has a 4300 mAh battery, but the Note 10 Lite will have a 4500 mAh battery. And it's safe to assume it will also have a 45 watt fast charging capabilities just like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. If the S10 Lite can have it, then why not the Note 10 Lite too? If you don't want to spend $1000 on phones, then these are great options for you. These are basically flagship devices launching at almost a year later when the component prices have gone down, hence the affordable prices. Of course, that being said, do let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.